Hey guys, Dave here from Myographer. I am so excited today. I got invited to uh, do live streaming on Amazon.com. So think of QVC. I mean, this is going to be groundbreaking. I am thrilled. And I'm going to take you along for the ride on my very first Amazon live show. Here's the setup right here. We've got all of our Switcher Studio things set up. I'm going to show you how to do it today on Myographer TV. Yes, like I said, Amazon Live is live now. I'm super excited to be a part of this. Now, it's only open to brand registered products. So if your company has brand registry and you're on Seller Central, um, you can do live video. And what is so cool about this? Well, now I have access to millions of shoppers that are on there that might be looking up things that I have my keywords set for on my products. So this is their page, amazon.com slash live. Um, I have no idea what it's going to expand into or what it'll look like later. Um, there's not that many people, you know, using it yet, which is awesome. And, you know, here's some of them, campfire companies, etc. And then some of these are actual Amazon videos. So Amazon, like Amazon Live here has Amazon um, in the kitchen with at Eden Eats. So I think she might be an influencer. So hopefully... Um, you know, one day if you're an influencer, they're going to open it up to you guys to come on here and do things because uh, she does this great cooking show. I'm going to turn the audio off. But here she is. I mean, you're watching this. You're like, wow, I want to do all these things. And then, um, you know, you can go in here and, and uh, buy whatever she's using. So this is totally like QVC. That's what I love about it. Um, so we did ours. So actually, I did two today. And I'm going to explain why when we get into the app. Uh, but the first one, I got booted off uh, Amazon for violating policies. Fired! And I think I know what it was. And hopefully my mistakes will um, help you guys so that you don't make the same mistake that I did. But here I go. You know, I mean, here I showed a video of our new multi case. And then, um, you know, we get into uh, cut from there to me talking I introduced myself and I really get into the whole thing of the multi case. So let's dive into the app. Now, this is something as well that I was hoping uh, Facebook would have or YouTube or, or even Instagram. That would be fantastic to be able to do all of these things on those channels and give them links to purchase either on Amazon or our own website. Absolutely perfect thing. I mean, why is it not there yet? I don't know. But Amazon took the lead. So here's Amazon Live. It's a creator app, I guess. It's called Amazon Live, though, in the, in the store. And I only saw it, I think it's only for um, iOS right now. I'm not sure if it's for um, Android. So we'll have to take a look on that. But here is uh, the one I did earlier. Um, but down below here, you see it says my 18-minute one. And it was uh, taken off for policy violation. <laughs> so I was. it was very shocking to me because at the... At the time, I thought we were going really well and we had things going. Let me just click on that for a minute. Um, you know, we had 8,000 people looking, blah, 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 and messages. And then I got it. All of a sudden, my wife goes, oh, it stopped. I'm like, what? Well, I, thought, I thought it could have been my encoding software, but no, Amazon didn't like that. And when I go back um, and look into this, I kind of know what kind of happened now. When I did the new one, which I did maybe, uh, you know, two hours later after thinking a lot about what I had gone wrong, my new one um, was really just left on brand. I stuck to brand. I didn't go off in tangents. I didn't talk about um, other brands that we work with. And of course, we work with you know, Manfrotto, Rode Microphones, Saramonic Microphones, Gorilla Pods, blah, blah, blah. So I didn't, because in the first video, I really got into all of those things. The second thing I didn't do was say, oh, by the way, Steven Spielberg uses this, or uh, the U.S. Olympic team, or Ariana Grande was using one the other day. And I have photos for all of this, by the way. <laughs> so I have ways of backing up, but Amazon's a huge stickler and just wants you to stay on target. Don't put up anything that you cannot um, back up. And in fact, when I went to the this page and I said, oh, what is this all about? And I clicked on the 
community guidelines, which I really didn't know or look into at all before this. I just thought it was like Facebook when you just go live, right? Uh, but this is like a store, and so they want you to be um, uh, good for the store. But down here in claims, all claims both expressed and implied must be supported. So that was really important for me to understand that. And then down here it says, you must be the brand owner of all product ASINs being promoted in your live stream. So in my first live stream, that was something else that I did. Um, you know, I put my book in there, which is not a Niagara for ASIN. I put um, a couple other products that we, we work with, that we like. But you have to stick with your own products. So that was a good thing to learn. <laughs> Uh, but I'm glad I went in the second time because uh, when we go in here, the second time you'll see we had 14,000 views and, you know, 70 unmuted views and messages. And I can't wait to see what um, the metrics are for the sales because I really want to know. I think it's going to be good, but we'll see. Uh, boosting um, is something that you can do and pay uh, extra money to have it seen to more people. And we actually did that as well. Here's the app. And on one side, you'll see um, where it says streams, which we're looking at right now. But if we go into more. Um, now you're going to see where you set everything up, your channel settings, your seller central account. You have to connect all of these things to the app as long as you log in um, with your, your uh, username and password from Amazon. A lot of the stuff auto populates, which is great. Here's the facts, uh, live streaming tips, blah, blah, blah. And here's the community policy, which I should have dove into very seriously, but now I know I learned a good lesson today. So um, here's here's how you set everything up. It's very simple, uh, but there's some great options for it. So right now we're going to go into practice mode, and I highly recommend if you guys are doing this, try practice mode first. Make sure your audio is good, etc. Um, so here we click on practice mode. We're going to turn practice mode on. They give you a link so that you can share it to people if you like, and of course you can press that link opens up a bunch of things. Um, you have to have at least one product to be able to do this. So I'm going to type in iographer uh, multi case. And we're going to add that to our stream here and click save. And then we're going to call this whatever we want. So in, in the ones I did, I said iographer multi case for mobile phones. So people would you just got to be straight to the point, you know, um, I was going to put how to create better video with your mobile phones, but no, I, you really got to stay straight to the point. Um, and for this particular one, we're just going to write test uh, 23. <laughs> um, lots of room here to write stuff though. So that's something to explore as well. What are best cases? I mean, I really don't know yet. Custom promotion. So here's where you can um, type in, um, you know, use code. You can go on Amazon and create a code. I'm just going to create something fake here, um, XYZ uh, 20 off, um, I'll just leave that. So that's our, our code that we're going to have promoted. Um, and then um, it's letting you see if you want to use phone cam or if you want to use your encoder. So we're going to look at both of those in a second. Down here is where you boost your live stream, like I said. So that costs money. It's similar to like a Facebook boost to get more people in front of. I boosted mine for $200. Um, I want to see what that does. You know, is it worth it? Um, and then schedule your stream. So you can schedule them in advance and they'll leave a little... Um, uh, in fact, let's do that right now. So when you schedule, you want to do this and you have a little thumbnail you can put in here. Now I went over to Canva. Let's go back to um, this for a second. And we'll take a look at uh, canva.com. And um, I went to canva.com and chose, um, where is it now? Uh, YouTube thumbnail. So it's 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. Put that in there and it looked, it looked fantastic. So in fact, I'll just put it in again. My photos, where did I put it? Uh, here it goes. There it is. See, you see everything looks perfect there. We'll add it. So there it is right there. And then you're ready to go. So you just press preview and we're in practice mode. So I'm okay with that. Initializing live stream. And here, while we have this here, um, you know, you can flip, uh, you can just be directly like that or you can turn it around and have it on you, whichever camera you want to use. Now, <clears throat> this is all the screen that you have though. So you really are limited here. I'm going to turn this off and it slides away. And then when you want to have it back on, you just click on it again and turn it on 
and it'll show right there. Um, down here, we click practice now. It's going to start the live stream. And then you're going to be able to say something. So you can say, uh, welcome, you know, stuff like that. And it's going to go into your little chat window here. So you can chat with people. So you can do it like this and just be really personal and stuff. Um, but I wanted to show off all kinds of things. So I'm going to end this stream here and there it is. It's saving right now, but I'm just going to click out of it because we don't need it. I'm going to go back in here. We'll do practice mode one more time. And then um, we're going to add the product one more time. And we're going to call this um, um, iographer. And then of course we do multi case search. There it is. We added it to stream. We're going to save. Um, we're going to call this test and code. Um, encode, <laughs> encoder, test encoder, um, custom promotions. I'm not going to put that on this time because I'm going to go into my phone cam. I'm going to go into my encoder and now, um, I can, you know, boost it, blah, blah, blah. But now when I go into here and hit preview, it's now going to give me the custom URL and the stream key. So these are the things I would put into my RTMP setup on Switcher Studio, um, which is fantastic. And once I have all that information in there, I'm ready to go. I press uh, get going with my stream and um, it'll start to work there and we're good to go. In fact, let me jump over to Switcher Studio. So now over here in Switcher Studio, I'm gonna turn the audio off, but over here in Switcher Studio, I have so many other options. Of course, all the cameras are disconnected now, but here I see I have the custom RMTP set up here, right here, Agrifer Amazon. So that's all set up. And what I did there was just click on channel. And then I was able to call this whatever I wanted. There's my RTMP URL. There's my stream key. And then you can choose whatever bit rates, etc., that you need. So that's ready to go. I was happy to have all that. Here's where I'm going to bring in my different cameras. So right now I've just got this camera here. Uh, which is uh, looking down, which I actually don't use during my live stream. I, I have multiple devices. You can add up to nine different devices using this. But now you see that I've got, you know, things like this. I can do, you know, broadcast will begin shortly. Here's the video I added. Here's the thing I used for my coupon code. Here's photos that I brought in. And then here's Ariana Grande, just so you don't know I was lying. Some more photos. You know, so you can really show off a lot more stuff than just having, um, you know, the one image that you would have using uh, no encoder. So I think using the encoder is key. Um, and there's so many bells and whistles in using something like Switcher Studio, which I have a lot of tutorials up on our YouTube channel, by the way. Oh, there's our YouTube channel, which you're watching now. <laughs> uh, but... Um, Switcher Studio is just easy to use, connects over Wi-Fi, really great way to, uh, to do this. And now when I practice now, I'm ready to go. And now I can go in here and, and just do all kinds of different things on Switcher Studio. So that's super cool. And I'm um, really excited about this. So there you go, folks, live streaming to Amazon. This is amazing for a brand that sells products. Um, hopefully eventually they'll have uh, influencers and things like that, or maybe that's not a good idea. I don't know. I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. It was a great learning experience today. Hopefully my mistakes, you won't make them and you've learned from this. Uh, but really excited to be able to have people just click the button now because they got excited about what they were watching. Can't wait to see the metrics on the Amazon video to see how the sales were and things like that. And I'll definitely share them with you. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell so you can be alerted. I'm so glad you're here. Leave a comment below. What do you think about this? Is this a cool thing? Are you a brand? Do you want to learn how to do this? Hit me up, comment below. Let's get in touch. Dave Basulto, I'm out of here. So with the new amazon.com slash live, you're able to go live from your phone, but they also give you an opportunity to use a, an encoder and we're going to use Switcher Studio. And this is it all set up here. I've got all my uh, different angles set up. I've got a wide shot, an overhead shot, and a close-up shot.
tons of graphics, tons of photos. Um, I have no idea how this is gonna go today, so I'm just really excited. <laughs> if you're watching this after the fact, then you'll know, but it looks great. Uh, really thrilled to be doing this, and uh, I always thought this was a great way to make some content and sell more products. So here, I'm even using an old iPhone 5 I have as one of my angles, which I love. So, I mean, so don't throw away those old iPhones because they're great for angles. Up on top here, I've got the multi-case, of course, with the iPhone 8 Plus. Here's a lens here. I've got the Moment lens there. I've got my iPad over here as another option for my wide shot. And then it's all going into uh, this uh, iPad Pro. Audio, I've got a USB-C to audio adapter and to a iRig Mic Lab. I have my headphones there to monitor so I am set to go and let's see what happens. Wish me luck. <laughs>